everybody what's going on welcome back to the channel this is man united central and i'm your boy luther i'm boosted that you're back here to get your updates when it comes to our man united so this one is going to be a quick one we're going to be talking about you know what we noticed yesterday in our loss against dortmund which is sad to see you know we should not be playing like that all right let's start with the positives what do we see what do we like okay the positive to me was andre onana from the top Andre Onana, when he came second half, he was on point, right? He was on point. He did play with uh, the, the with Maguire and Lindelof. Uh, they were the star, starting lineup from the first half, so he played with them. We saw from the get go Onana coming in. He played like a you know confident, demanding, controlling as our number one. He knows how his defense should play and he will, he's not going to be taking any nonsense, right? Because we saw how he went at Harry Maguire when Maguire, you know, made a mistake and almost cost us a goal, right? Onana went at him. Basically, you know, Maguire made a mistake and then Onana was able to parry the ball to prevent that goal. And right after that, he got up, like ran at Maguire, you know, berating him. What are you doing? You know, that kind of thing. That to me was very nice to see. I, I was so glad that he's that kind of a keeper. He's not gonna be taking nonsense from mistakes from his defenders, right? He's, he was interviewed after uh, the match because that we, we didn't get to see that before uh, with the hair, right? He was interviewed after the match saying, hey, why did you go uh, at a Maguire like that? He was like, look, I, this is the big team. We need to play at a certain level, highest level. I demand that from my defenders. I demand that from myself. And that's what the coach demands from us. Like whenever we step into that field, we deliver. We, we do what we're there to do and no silly mistakes. And yesterday we saw all our goals were from silly mistakes that should not happen at this level, right? These uh, defenders, like Maguire's, uh, Lindelof, you know, the whole defense, right? We, at this point, should be like sharpening our skills. Like we should be coming, you know, the level should be coming up, meaning that we're getting ready to start the season. But the defensive mistakes killed us yesterday, right? Not only that, we also saw that, look, um, in the first half, yes, the first 20 minutes, we, we played a little bit better. We created chances, but we are not putting those chances away. Yes, we did score a goal, uh, our first goal uh, from Dalo, which was beauty, with beauty, man. I called it, bend it like Dalo. You know, he got that pass and bend it almost to the top right-hand corner. Beautiful, right? That is good to see because we see that Dalo, why Ten Hag, you know, gave him a contract, extended his contract, gave him a new contract because he, they, you know, when he can't, when they, when they, as a right back, as he advances, he has good feet uh, and he knows where the goal is and he can bury uh, uh, shots like that. So which was pretty good to see because he, he came in inside in that um, uh, it, 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 close to that penalty box and put that ball away. That is good to see, right? Another positive we saw, of course, Anthony was able to get on the score sheet as well. He scored a nice goal as well when he came on the second half. But um, let's see. So those are the positives that we saw. What else do we see? Um, yeah, seeing Bruno playing at his natural position compared to uh, the game against Madrid. Madrid was he was playing on the right. It was good to see Bruno back at the num number ten. And at the, as a number ten, we saw that he's able to do what Bruno does: distributing the ball uh, through passes. We saw a through pass to Hugo. Of course, Hugo couldn't uh, put it away. Hugo is that young, uh, under twenty-one striker. He couldn't put it away, but. Uh, Bruno was doing what Bruno does when it comes to distributing the, the ball, right? Of course, um, again, the de defense was terrible. Uh, Ten Hag still has a lot of work to do with this team. We thought that by now, uh, the team will be seeing a certain pattern, certain way of playing, right? Because Ten Hag has his, his pieces there, kind of. So we should have been seeing some kind of pattern. This is how United play. But we're still, we still not seeing that at uh, this uh, point in the season uh, we're still you know we're still doing that counter-attack football that we uh, we saw last season so there's still work to do 
uh, and I mean we believe in Ten Hag he can work with his team to get them to that level where we need to be by the beginning of the season but so far the last two games that we lost Dortmund and then now uh, Madrid and then Dortmund it was unacceptable like we can definitely play at a higher level yesterday we created chances but we did not finish them and that uh, Luke Shaw was interviewed later on he said look we need a finisher we need someone who's going to be at the end of these passes like we saw yesterday where Onana the way he can ping the ball he was pinging the ball to Rashford which he couldn't control uh pinging the ball to Anthony like he's that good so we need someone who can get the end of those crosses and cause havoc right so Luke Shaw was saying look we need that goal scorer we need that person who can get to the end of those passes and put that ball behind the net right and score so hopefully uh, uh, Rasmus Hoyland is that player but of course Rasmus Hoyland is going to take time for him to get acclimated with the team you know uh, perform to that uh, level another positive actually as yeah, I forgot to mention is Jaden Sancho Jaden Sancho in that false nine he looks like he's getting better and better this season I'm seeing that Jaden Sancho has a little bit of pep in his step he's quicker stronger he's kind of faster right so it's good to see and I, I really think that this season we're going to see Jaden Sancho playing that force nine quite a bit because you know he, he did get some through passes he yes he couldn't put them away but he's quick uh he can see passes pretty well so I think we, we're definitely going to see him because yeah Hoyland coming in Rashi Rashi looked very good playing on the left hand side yesterday and his natural side that's where he likes to play he was he was deadly on that left hand side but still even with that Rashford being on that side we need that focal point in the number nine so uh, I'm rubbing my hands because I know when um, everybody's up to speed with Hoyland um, you know it's going to be good uh, striking force to see how they all work together to uh, to, you know, to to put to put those goals away right but um, yeah apart from that you know the team Ten Hag was not happy with the team he was not happy with the the, the starters basically he said look some of these players who came you know the most of the starting 11 uh, got into the team uh, got into the game at, at a 60 point mark 60 minute mark he said he was not happy with them because they were playing as individuals they were not playing as a team um, that is not the principles and uh, the steps that he's been teaching them this whole time so that is not good to see because he's saying look you guys we go we have a game plan you go in on a match you don't follow the plan you just do your own thing and that is uh is a no-no he's not gonna get us where we need to go so ten Hag was going at these players he called them out that they were not performing right because they don't follow principles right because ten Hag is all about principles so we'll see you know what else he's gonna do with his team because there's a lot of work to do with this team guy guys and uh you know if the season was starting tomorrow or the next uh, next week i'll be kind of scared but again let's let's keep on keep hoping that ten hog is going to turn this team around in the next couple two games preseason coming up we're going to be able to show something show a glimpse of what we can do when the season starts right so guys do me a favor if you're watching this point make sure to share the video on your whatsapp uh, Twitter you name it that way everybody can enjoy it as well and also as you're rolling out do me a big favor hit the like you know hit the subscribe button make sure you hit that subscribe button that we do not miss any new videos coming to this channel guys right and again thank you so much for being here peace out